yeah, boy. Hey guys, this is OddGuy14 here, bringing back with you yet again another Minecraft video. And today we will be doing a tutorial video regarding the wall I have this back here. It's the design that I found, well the initial design was found somewhere on Google Images. And if I find the original creator of that wall, I will put them in the description below. Um, as for the rest of the wall, the rest was designed by me in a way. Uh, just this here in 2020, so that being this greenery side and this nether or fiery side. I added that this year along with some other stuff like some the trapdoors, the buttons, and the city in the middle, whatnot. So yeah. So to start off with a vid video. Start off with a vid video. Start off with a vid video. Ugh. So to start off the video, we are going to be giving you, or at least I'm going to be giving you um, what blocks you're going to be needing. Right now I only have singulars everything, but I'm going to put down on the screen right now the exact number of every block that you need, or exact number of every item on here that you're going to be needing if you're going to be building this in survival mode. At least a single section like the one I just showed you. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to be continuing to be moving on to the actual build of the wall. So, please follow through carefully. I'm going to be doing this slowly, but at the same time, you know, if need be, you can pause the video or just go back or anything. So, yeah. So, to start off the build, we're going to be building, laying down four blocks of cobblestone like so. Like so. Bleh, and then build, going in one right here and building up by three. And placing down one on the other side like so. We form this eye shape with extension at the bottom. We're going to be doing the same thing on this side, but, but we're going to skip a space here. And do one, two, three, four. And go up three, right here. And then build, put blocks on both sides. And we're gonna mirror the same thing on the other side, but skipping a space. And do four, up three. Do that. Skip a space. Four, three. And then once we have that part done, we should have this type of formation going on. That's going to be it for the cobblestone part. Now onto the cobblestone stairs. We're going to be placing the, placing them down like so. So get them down in upside down or in upside down orientation like so. And then placing them down along here so I can create this little indentation but still upside down. And we'll be doing this same thing up like so. It's so upside down, upside down. And upside down yet again and then we got this whole indentation thing going on and we'll be doing upside down stairs along the edges here both sides if you were to continue the wall this part right here would be this part here so yeah we'll be doing the same thing on this side do 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 oh wait do 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 and there we go so that's the cobblestone stairs part done and then moving on to the obsidian, we're going to be placing down all within the middle section. So fill in the entirety of it, but leave out indentation right in the middle here at the very top. So that's going to be 9 along here and going up 4. If we start here, then we'll be going up 4, like so. Is it 4? Yeah, it's 4. Okay. Yeah, it's 4. So that's going to be 4. Do 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 do. Go only go up three right here again because I mentioned in, I mentioned indentation right there. So and that's the obsidian part done. And then moving on to the stone brick portion of the wall. So starting off the stone brick portions, we're gonna extend two stone brick off the flat part of the cobblestone part of the wall like so, and we're gonna be building up three like so. Shaft this sort of thing going on. Do the same thing on this side. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like so. And then we're going to be building an extra one up top to make it four. And then we're just going to. But with that fourth section, we're going to be building across. Like so. Like so. Like that. And then we're going to add an extra layer, just like that, but outwards, like here, like so. So you got that sort of thing going on. Ooh, ooh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Like that. And then, 
we're going to be placing down two more stone bricks right there, skip a space and put one right there. And then do the same thing on this side. Do do and do. And then for the remaining usage of our stone bricks, we're going to be placing them down all on top right here except for where the hole is right there. Do and that's the end of stone bricks. On to our stone brick stairs now. We're going to be placing down six along the top. It's going to be placing them down on the middle like so, right here. And then skip two spaces and then place one down right here. Do the same thing on this side. And the same thing will be done on this side. One, two, bam. And on this side, bam. And for our remaining stone brick stairs, we're going to be placing them down down here. So for that, we'll be placing them down here, right in front of the pillar there and then one in the middle like so and then two at the very top upside but upside down underneath this little extension of stone brick and then we're we'll placing down two more upside down stone brick stairs on either side of the pillar like so we should create this little nice little formation here do the same thing on the other side place down two in front of the pillar one in the middle Two upside down on the extension bit right here, and then two more upside down on the sides of the pillar. There we go. And that's that for the stone brick stairs. Now onto the slabs, we're we'll placing down six up top, exactly where the stairs are. Right here. Like so, and the remaining two there and there, right in the middle. Now moving on to the chisel stone bricks, you only be needing two and replacing them down where we made this little indentation here earlier. Like so. And then moving on to our boutons, which you should have 11 of, we're going to be placing them down like so. So we're going to be placing three up top like so. And then two along the bottom here. And then we're going to be doing the exact same thing on the other side. Three up here and two down here and then for the extra button we're replacing one down on one side of the wall and that side is going to be the fiery side of the wall so yeah then moving on to the spruce trap doors we're going to be placing them down right here on the pillar cover that up like so do the same thing on the other side boop boop doo 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 doo, -doo. And then there's that part done. So let's move on to the rest of our inventory. We're just going to be filled with... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe not that. Not yet. Doo -doo. Actually, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm going to use some glowstone. As for why I have three light sources here, that's because we're going to be putting, putting down... That's where these light sources are going to be. Well, only one of them... <laughs> The reason why I have three light sources is because we're going to be placing one of these three light sources within that little hole I meant that we made or divot we made where the obsidian is. So out of these three, you have three choices. You have glowstone to use, sea lanterns to use, and shroom lights. I chose glowstone because that's the easiest to obtain. Though shroom lights, I want to say, are actually far easier to obtain than glowstone to be honest. That is if you find a uh, crimson farce prior to uh, finding, you know, regular nether waste. And prismarine, well, that's not, I mean, it's made with prismarine stuff, but yeah, sea lanterns, that's the hardest to get because you got a deep dive. <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna be using glowstone. So with that, we're gonna be placing it down right here in our hole, and on top of that, we're gonna be placing down our singular light gray stained glass. And that's that part of the wall done. So starting off with the nether side, we're going to be making a 1x9 hole along the very front right here on the wall. And right there, we're placing down our magma, magma blocks. And then in the interior section here is where we're going to be placing our nether rack. Oh, there we go. So, so. And then with that, we're going to light up our nether rack with our flint and steel. And that's going to be this side of the wall pretty much done. So there's that. Now moving on to the other side of the wall, we're going to be doing the exact same hole. So on the very front, we're placing down 
coarse dirt instead of magma blocks. And on the interior, we're going to be doing podsol instead of netherrack. And then from there, where the button was on the other side of the chisel stone bricks, on this side we're going to be placing down our torch. And then we're going to be placing down our six dark oak fences right along here, like so. And then take your 12 spruce leaves and then just double stack them up in the back right here, like so. Also, quick note, make sure to actually add a, what is it? Yeah, actually eight dark oak fences because we're supposed to actually lay down two right here. So make that eight stone brick. I said stone brick, I meant to say dark oak fence posts. So yeah, eight. And of course, make it more if you continue on, continue with the design. And then for the very last part, pretty sure, is to lay down our plants. And you can use whatever plants you want, to be honest. I just choose double tall plants because those look best, in my opinion, with this ball. So we're going to place it on peony. Not peony, that's lilac. And then peony. No, peony's here. And rose bush. Togris, large fern, and then dupe. And dupe. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is the wall. Dunzo. It's just finished. But yeah, that's the wall design pretty much complete. We got the fiery side here. And the uh, nature side here. So this will be the interior, that will be the exterior. And usually for whenever I usually build this wall, I put lava up front here. And maybe like a walkway or a pathway or like a little river right here. So yeah, that's the wall design done. You can do the exact same design this wall, but for like the nether, like I have over there. We're just done using uh, blackstone and whatnot from the 1.16 update. And I got some crying up sitting there to, you know, have some different variation right there in the wall. Yeah. And also, this is another design I made where this side will be more proper nether. So this design will be made for, like, the nether. You could do this, a design of this where it's blackstone on both sides. For this version, it will be, like... This side, you know, will be exposed to another. This side will be like within your base. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, that's the design. Uh, maybe in the future I'll probably do a video on that. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be able to figure it out. But just in case, I'll make a video on that. And I'll also be making a video on how to do corners with this wall. Because when I do corners, I don't do curves. I can't do curves. Whenever I do try to do curves, I'll make sure to make a video on that. But that probably won't come in like a long time. But yeah, I'll most likely do another video regarding how to do corners with this wall specifically uh, right angle walls so how to do the uh, interior and exterior so yeah that's pretty much been the video hope you guys like the video uh, make sure to leave a like if you like you know the video I already said that I don't know why I mentioned it again uh, leave a comment on what you thought of the video and uh, what you want to see in the future that is if I do upload more in the future and yeah, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say because everything else is, you know, just depends on whoever's viewing the video. But anyway, uh, hope to see you guys in the near future. So yeah, see ya. You know, on second thought, I probably should have should end the video on something a bit more exciting, I guess. So we're gonna just, we're just gonna do this. Hopefully, hopefully that that makes it. Bye.